Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As many of you probably already know, Jagex has confirmed the date of the next double XP weekend, which will be July 26th to July 29th at 12 game time. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to make some money by investing in certain items before and after double XP weekend. So let's get on with the video. So to start, I would suggest that you figure out what skills you would like to train this coming double XP weekend and buy the materials you will need as they will be more expensive on double XP weekend. So some skills that would be really good to train are your viable skills. You know, you can do cooking, smithing, herb lore, summoning, uh, crafting as well. And these are just a few of them. So the first step I would suggest is just buying the items that you will need so that the rest of your money or the leftover money you can actually invest and make some money from this double XP weekend. So you should actually expect around a 10% return after you invest your money so you can buy your items now and they should go up by about 10% uh, you know for double XP weekend. Um, and they are currently going up uh, you know if you bought them a few days ago they already have went up roughly uh, three four maybe five percent for an item um, but anyway we're gonna look at a few items that will be pretty good to buy uh, mostly going into double XP weekend so buying now and selling on double XP weekend you will want to look for the raw materials so things that you will be actually training on so like you could buy raw raw fish raw food mahogany planks um, stuff for summoning to train summoning, stuff like that. And then after double XP weekend, you'll want to buy those finished products. So you'll want to be buy the cooked fish. Um, also the summoning pouches, a lot of those will be going down in price right after double XP weekend. So looking at some of the items that I would suggest you guys buy, um, and of course there are a lot other items, not just these nine that I'm going to be showing you. Um, and these are primarily for buying now and selling on double XP weekend. So first we have the Grenwell Spikes used for the Super Ranging Potion, which will definitely be, you know, brewed a lot during double XP weekend to train Herb Lore. Um, as you can see, last double XP weekend was right here, right in at the end of February. And it does increase by quite a bit uh, leading up to it. And then obviously once it hits double XP weekend, it, it it will decrease especially right after um, and you can see that here it is increasing leading up to it double XP weekend was announced right around July 2nd so uh, as you can see it has constantly been increasing since that announcement um, and all these items that I'm gonna be showing you it, it would have been better if you guys bought them a little bit before so sorry that I didn't get the video out a little bit earlier but uh, you can still make some pretty good money off these items because they should uh, still increase by quite a bit leading up to double XP weekend. And of course the first day of double XP weekend they should be pretty high. So now moving on to the next item. We have mahogany planks. So you know the best planks for construction training. Um, these two have been increasing and as you can see last double XP weekend they increased by quite a bit leading up to it. it went up to 970 right now it's at 930 uh, and then a big fall right after so this item you could also make some pretty good money right after double XP weekend and broad arrowheads this is one of the more safer items that I found and it is because it was actually at its lowest point you know uh, just a few weeks ago when the or just a week ago when double XP weekend was announced and even now it's only at 65 that's still a pretty good price to buy um, so I would expect these items actually to go up to probably 80 maybe even 90 like last time like 89 leading up to double XP weekend but I I would almost guarantee that they will go up some more um, so pretty safe investment I would say it's one of the best fletching uh, training methods on double XP weekend, you know, you get over one mil XP per hour, so uh, definitely a pretty good buy there. Next is the crush nests, and I believe this is for the 
uh, Ceridomian Brews. Um, this is more of a risky investment. It has been going on an upward trend as of late. Um, and you can't really compare to last double XP weekend. I mean, it was a little little shaky, but uh, as you can see, when the announcement did hit, they did go up by quite a bit. So these could still increase uh, leading up to double XP weekend, so you could make some money off them. It doesn't look like it's tapering off just yet. So I would say, you know, it's a little bit of a riskier one, but you could make some pretty good money off them, uh, depending on how it actually goes. And now, moving on to raw sharks. So just like any raw type of food that you'd be training, cooking for, uh, you know, you can look at raw, uh, raw sailfish, uh, rocktail, stuff like that as well. So raw shark, you know, same as the other items, has been increasing by over 100 GP since the announcement. Um, and looking at last double XP weekend, I know it's been on a downward trend because of the other food that has been, uh, you know, has came into the game. Um, but you can see that a big upward trend leading up to double XP weekend and then a big fall. So I would expect the same. I would expect it to go up a little bit more leading up to double XP weekend and then falling right after. So you could even buy it now, sell it the first day of double XP weekend or whenever it's at its highest and then buy it, uh, you know, a day or two after when it is just crashed. Now, water talismans, these are used for the Geyser Titan pouch, um, so to train summoning. And these these are a pretty good item to invest in, I would say. It has stayed a rate around 5.3k for the last while, and a big increase since the announcement, 500 GP increase. So if you guys actually bought this item like five or six days ago, you would have made a lot of money already. Um, I do think it will increase a little bit more. I, I'm pretty sure it will have a fall right after too, and probably just settle around three point or five point three k, like a month after double XP weekend. So you could make some money buying this after double XP weekend, but uh, I would say even if you bought it now and sold it on double XP weekend, it you should make some pretty good money off that as well. And now room bars. So room bars is actually a really good investment. I'd say a really safe one. And the main reason for this is because it is used for smithing training, but it is also used for summoning in the rune minotaur pouches. And, uh, you know, it has been increasing fairly steadily. It doesn't look like it's tapering off, so that is a good sign. Um, looking at last double XP weekend, I know it was right around the uh, mining smithing rework where everything fell, but you can see that it did increase for double XP weekend and then fell right after, so I would expect the same kind of change here. I'd expect it to increase a little bit more, maybe around go up to like 3.5k, um, and then probably drop down to you know 2.5k or something like that. And now Yakide obviously used for the pack yak pouches. Um, these two have increased a lot, almost 100 GP as of late, um, and. I would think it would be safest to actually buy this after double XP weekend. As you can see last time it went up to 700 and then dropped all the way down to 530. So that, that you can make some really good money off that. That is a pretty drastic drop. Um, so I think this is a really good buy for after double XP weekend and maybe selling it a month after that when it's back up to, you know, around 600 GP. And then the last item I'm going to show you guys is black dragon leather. So any kind of dragon leather, it's all kind of the same. Um, so as you can see, like the other items, big upward trend since the announcement. Downward trend usually after double XP weekend. Um, so you guys can pick what you're going to do. You could buy it now, although it does look like it's tapering off. So the safer option would be to buy it right after. And you guys could do both because you are selling it you know, before you will be buying after double XP weekend. You'll sell it on the first day of double XP weekend, and then it should drop for a few days after double XP weekend where you can just buy it back. Um, so these are all of the items that you probably should buy 
before double xp weekend and then sell after i do have some that you could buy after double xp weekend and then sell maybe in a few months if you guys are into long-term investments um, so i will be going through that now now moving on to the section where you should buy after and then sell in a few months when the price is back up to normal and i have done this in the past it has worked really well one item that i did a lot of i actually bought probably 50 mil in was super range potion threes a lot of people make these during double xp weekend and then just dump them right after just to get some of their money back so looking at last double xp weekend you know it was up to 10.3k on double xp weekend and then right after it just crashes down to 9.3k goes up a little bit crashes down to 8.7k so that is a big gap you're looking at you know 1.5k gap and it might take a while to go back up you can see it goes up to 9k um, it takes it takes quite a while but if you are looking for some long-term investments this is a really good item because eventually it will go back up to like 9k even next double xp weekend like right now it's up to 10.7k so if you could buy it down here at any of these low points after double xp weekend and wait till you know probably six months till the next double xp weekend or whatever it is uh, easy like one to two K profit on each potion you buy so this is a really great item to buy you know 20% increase in your profit for like a long four to six month investment now looking at the Ceridomian brew flasks right now they're actually at a really high point which is kind of surprising uh, they've been on a big upward trend um, looking at last double XP weekend, it, it was pretty high and dropped right after. So I would, I would, I would uh, probably, you know, expect the same thing to happen this time. Um, me personally, I have a lot of Ceridomian brew flasks in my bank, and I will be selling them like pretty recently before double XP weekend, so that I do get this 20k profit because I can see them dropping down to 19, 18k. Uh, right after double xp weekend due to people making a lot of them uh, prayer potions so you know after double xp weekend is when i buy my prayer potions um, i stock up every after every double xp weekend and as you can see it is because they do drop by a lot you know right now they're not too expensive they have been going up since double xp weekend but they are definitely going to be decreasing after they always do um, so, you know, you can look to buy them around 2 to 2.4k would be a pretty good buy. And Geyser Titan Pouches. These are one of the best items you can invest in right after Double X Weekend. Like, it's, it's honestly an easy profit on these. So, looking at it, you know, you can see this is right after Double X Weekend. Just a drastic change in price. And it's just obvious that they're going to go back up because they're always at 4.3 and it's probably never going to change you know a few little bumps but always right around 4.3 so on double xp weekend a lot of these will be made and then they will all dump them after which is why there is this huge decrease and then look so february 23rd it's at 4.1 k and then up you know two weeks later 4.2, 4.3k. So, you know, easy 100, 100 GP profit on this just for even just a week of waiting. It's not too much uh, percentage wise for your return, but still, it's a pretty good investment. And it it's nice because items like the Super Ranging Potion, they will be down for a while. So you could just do a nice short investment, sell them, get, get your profit, and then buy some Super Ranging Potions, you know, once these are sold. So next is the Pakiak pouch. And pretty much all these summoning pouches that people make, they're gonna be decreasing after double XP weekend. Um, as you can see the Pakiak pouch, nearly 200 GP decrease. Um, so this is a this is gonna be a pretty good item to buy. Um, right now, you know, I'd expect to do the exact same thing, just buy it after and it's a pretty easy profit. And another item, Royal Dragon Hide Body. So a lot of people will be doing this for crafting training. And it is 
you know, fluctuates a lot, but you can see that it does decrease the most right after double XP weekend. So, you know, I'd say probably 500 to 1K uh, profit if you buy it right after double XP weekend and then just wait, you know, till it just goes back up. Could take, you know, a few weeks, could take a few months. Uh, you know, it's really, it's really tough to tell because the graph is so sporadic, but I can almost guarantee there will be, you know, a big decrease like last double XP weekend and like every double XP weekend before that. And now looking at air battle staffs. So another crafting item that you will be using on Double X Weekend, people will be crafting air battle staffs. And this is actually a really safe investment. So it, it goes up leading up to Double X Weekend and then crashes after. And it should happen. It doesn't crash by too much because the ALK price for this is actually 9.2. 9.1k I believe it's it's all, always profit so you can actually buy a lot of these and just alk them for profit you don't even need to wait so you could even pot, toss them in your alchemizer um, and just make some easy profit off this this is like guaranteed profit um, and it goes for all battle staffs so air fire earth water uh, whatever and next is the wine of Zamrock. So this this is uh, another ingredient for uh, Herblore, I believe. And, you know, just like all these other items, decreases right after. Decreases by a significant amount, too, like 1k. And then goes back up, as you can see. You could even wait till it really goes up and you can make a 1.5k profit on it. So um, I would, I would, uh, I'd probably expect the same thing to happen, a big decrease right after. I wouldn't buy it before double XP weekend because it, it's kind of unpredictable. So I would I would definitely wait till there is that huge decrease and I'd snatch them all up. So anyway, this is actually the last item that I have for you guys. Of course, there are a lot more items that you could invest in that I've not mentioned in this video. Um, but these are some you know basic guidelines uh, and. An overall rule is you're just going to want to buy the raw materials before Double X Weekend and sell them on it. And then after, buy the finished products, so like the summoning pouches or, or whatever, right after Double X Weekend. And uh, then sell them when the price goes back up to whatever it normally is. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that these tips actually help you a lot. And if any of you guys have any questions about any of this, comment them down below and I really try to help you guys out. And if you guys did find this guide helpful, definitely subscribe for more RuneScape 3 content. I post a lot of stuff, kind of like this, money-making guides, stuff like that. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested. But anyway, I will see you in the next one. Peace.